The Welcome to Las Vegas sign is glowing in purple tonight in observance of International Overdose Awareness Day. It's also where a local group is trying to raise awareness and save lives. News 3's Kalia Patterson is joining us now live on the south end of the Strip with more on what's happening there. Kalia. Steve, these purple bowls behind me are a signal of support for the thousands of family who lose someone to addiction every day. They say they're going to use that awareness to fight for prevention. Stop the shame! Stop the shame! Say their name! Dozens of families gathered at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign, remembering who they lost to addiction. Chantrell Jordan is one mother who will never forget her son, Nathan's battle. It started in about 2011, football injury. He was prescribed opiates, so Oxycontin, and from there it led into a deeper, deeper, dark thing with his addiction. Her story, similar to many parents in the crowd. Debbie Nadler, the founder of Moms Against Drugs, says, Never say not my child. We all said that. Our kids were normal college kids, high school kids. They had hobbies, wonderful hearts of gold. Sean O'Donnell with the Foundation for Recovery says shame is one of the leading reasons people don't seek help. That stigma permeates to the family members as well. Um, you know, I think gen the general society looks down on people who use substances and, um, you know, question parenting. The CDC says there were more than 100,000 overdose deaths in the U.S. in 2023. And Southern Nevada is also seeing an alarming trend. Unfortunately, we've continued to see an increase. So I know just last year in 2023, we're about 667 preventable overdoses. The recovery organization already working on ways to save lives, giving out Narcan and fentanyl test strips, Nadler and Jordan, desperate to keep people from being a memory and focus on prevention. Nathan was funny. He was ambitious. Him not calling me saying, Mom, where you at? <laughs> That's what I miss the most. Picking up the grieving family members, but showing the community you have support and even support for those struggling. We're always reaching out, trying to help them. If you'd like to donate to Moms Against Drugs and their efforts, a link will be on our website at news3lv.com. And if you or you know someone who is battling with addiction and would like to go into recovery, recovery for found well, Foundation for Recovery excuse me, is open from Monday through Saturday. And more information for their organization will also be on our website. Live on Las Vegas Boulevard, News 3. All right, thank you, Kalia. And it's important for everybody to know that help is out there if you need it. It's available.